right. When the sun no shed, it manifests itself very very soon. With me and the mission. Yeah. Uh, Atina shared understanding of what C2C is. Okay. What, what is C2C, sir? It's the it same. Is, that's, uh, that's uh, right now, this conversation. It's between okay. uh, peer to peer. Uh, it is between two individuals. And the uh, C to C is just recognition of uh, the structure of life that we live in communities. We are complementary. Right. We are diverse. And the, I right. don't have to know everything. But if I'm in a community, right. it becomes more convenient to know who is a doctor, who is a lawyer, who is a good one. Because uh, someone may have been uh, exposed to a good doctor. Right. So, is C to C is like a port of ideas and thoughts? No, it's just one. Identity. When when two or more come together, the two okay. When they have a common objective, let's say it's learning, mentorship. Yeah. Then we can group yeah. ourselves into a community of learners. The discipline of learning. The discipline of listening. The discipline okay. of knowing how to uh, organize to learn more and what if they could do to each other what if what if your philosophies in your statements they do not resonate with me no that's why it's a, a the dog who back you keep going where you are going but if we agree that we are going to have a conversation for 15 minutes use the yeah. 15 minutes to learn to draw as much like a tick than for you to use the 15 minutes to now start arguing about things that may not have an answer. Mm. You see? Right. And how much right. time do we spend talking about Zimbabwe and we can't change anything? Uh, what I have observed, and I'm going to talk personally from my pers personal uh, perception, uh, Mr. Mawere, they could say, uh, Lando, when they come to a platform, a public platform, they're always uh, there to prove a point. No, actually, to make something, but you see, or you know, what are you saying? I'm gonna prove you wrong instead of she, to not to run, but imagine, uh, imagine you are the first one to change that to sing Amazing Grace and say, yeah. I was once blind, now let me try it. Then let's see what way it takes you. But when you start talking about Vanu, then we can never cure yeah. it. Because you are excluding yourself from those people while you are including yourself from those in those people. Yet you have the power to change your ways. You are the person okay. in the mirror. Tell you something, sir. Um, this platform of ours, I'm, gonna tell, I'm, I'm not going to say your platform is yours, like you remind me, a platform of ours is a shared community. Uh, why I like it about the negotiation, in any, in the government, well, last time in the, uh, my town, I need a cryptocurrency, and we talk about Bitcoin, sometimes we talk about the politics and all of that. But the one, the my expertise, I don't know anything about Bitcoin. I don't know anything about cryptocurrency. I don't know nothing about politics. I don't know anything about the constitution. But what I do know is metaphysics and esoteric knowledge. So that I can bring forward what I know. No, I'm saying right. that's another. First is uh, what is knowledge sharing in this digital age? Yeah. And uh, then we go there. Then you say, okay, I'm going, but you're saying, my way is your men mentor. But uh, are you uh, uh, men uh, mentorable, if there's a term like that? Yes. Because yes. Uh, 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 if you already know where you are going, you don't need anyone else. 
But by you being able to be mentored, it means by now we'll have a community that involves Mason. But are you are you open to this idea, Mr. Maguire, that the MNT can question the mentor? Are you open to that idea? No, I'm open. I'm saying is the, the question is I have to learn what a mentee is in a mentor so that I take the maximum minutes because it's time measured. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't stop you from being a mentor yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So I will let that's why I have 24 hours. It means uh, there's a time to learn. Let's say the question I've raised now. What is leadership? Yeah. You you give me your understanding. And yeah. I give you my understanding. Then at the end of the day, you still decide what you want to do with the alternative thinking. Right. You can still default to the way you think. Nobody can stop you. But if we, we say, uh, on average, the conversations I'm exposed to, if I wrote yeah. here, and got Mnanga Gwai Dodi. I get a lot of followers who will tell me about the president without yes. knowing what the president actually does. So if I say is a president a leader, you know how many people think a president is a leader? Uh, are you asking me a question, Mr. Boyd? Yeah, yeah, even just if you ask, is a president a leader? This is show number one. Is a president what? or prime minister a leader? If so, how can one qualify to be a leader? That's a very, very broad topic. And it's a very, it's a wider topic that, that, that deserves uh, so many philosophical uh, 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 questions because what you define a leader and what defines a leadership. And you have already introduced that. You have introduced something. What is a philosophical question? A, a philosophical question is when a question was being presented to you and you examine the question. That's what a philosophical question is. No, why? why it, it, no, if a, if a, a transgender comes comes to you, you ask a philosophical yeah. question. And huh? what, what will be the question, sir? What will be the question, sir? No, I'm saying is a transgender somebody who is a man is a, a woman by choice. Yeah. 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 And then well, you uh, you want to have sex with this person. Is it a philosophical question or just a discovery question? Well, for, for me, it's, 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 a, it's both. Because I'm going to ask you what is gender and what is sex. Yeah, I'm saying is that's not a, a philosophical. Because you're just that's asking a, a, a yeah, whether we have a shared understanding. Because uh, to be philosophical is to be to stay detached and thoughtful in the face of a setback, to approach a tough situation in a level headed way, level headed way. But yeah, yeah but uh, we are. Not, uh, I may not be level headed. I'm just asking. I I just need to understand. Like for this, uh, for people who are who are joining or listening, I was talking to Mason. And uh, what we're trying to do is to find uh, this uh, idea of convergence uh, on a number of issues that are contestable. One such issue is leadership. What is it? Does it exist? If it does exist, in what form? And... Uh, does a shared understanding exist or ignorance divides us? When you think of a person like a president, 
do you regard that person as a leader or as a person of flesh and a mortal and fatal being, an uh, infallible, uh, fallible being, a person who can also mis make mistakes in thought and in action? So who is to wow. lead? And in, his, in his book. Okay. In his book, in his book, uh, Common Sense and the Rights of Man, Thomas Paine, and um, he wrote and, uh, a quote. He said, um, a government is a contract between the the people who have been put in power and the people who been who, be, who are led. And they have to have an agreed contract. Like, this is what I want you to but, lead me, and this is how I want But now you are lead. becoming detached. Here, we can say we share a common heritage. And today, the All president right. of the country is President Nanga Agwa. Some okay. say is illegitimate because the people who elected him were yeah. less than the people who elected his the number two. Some people say Chamisa got more votes than what Munanga got. But yeah, by but do they have facts though? Do they have facts to say? No, no, I'm not asking the I'm just saying that what the allegations are first. Right. So that uh, we understand where the challenge is. One would say you are not a leader because I don't believe yeah. you legitimately acquired the right to be a leader. Yeah. Then I go to the Constitution of Zimbabwe in search of this idea. The idea yeah. is that a leader is a person who can lead the people he represents to some way where they want to go, they are not yet there. So, Mr. Mawere, what's, what's your definition of a leader? I'm saying is that what is there? My definition is what I'm trying to provoke people to think about. Does a leader exist? No, Mr. Mawere, you're not answering my question, sir. I said, what's your definition of a leader? No, of that's what I'm saying is I don't, I don't have a definition because I am battling, I've been battling to identify what this animal is or is not. So the reason for coming here even uh, uh, to add Mkwama Simba to this conversation is simply uh, to be able to provoke thought about what a leader is and what a leader is not. So I don't come here with any expertise or for or right. any better knowledge. But what I do know is that the people we call leaders are themselves human beings of flesh. And they are yes. mortal, they die like all of us. And they yeah. also make mistakes like all of us. So Absolutely. when I expect another human being to do that which I want to be done, then I'm setting yeah. myself up for something different. So, okay. so if we have a shared understanding or wisdom around this question of leadership, what is it, what it is not, then perhaps we you know, may find it, a way to build opinion, bridges. In your opinion, uh, Mr. Mabwebe, do you think your your definition or description of leadership is is it a shared consensus to the? Uh, I've not described anything. I've said I don't know. So if somebody knows what a leader is, then I'm all I'm open to listening because I don't know as a person. Right. What I know what is human beings like me yeah. who are limited 
by time, limited yeah. by the operation of the blueprint of life, which yeah. doesn't give you more than two eyes, if you can see, yeah. or two ears, yeah. if you can hear, or a voice, yeah. if you can speak. Not all human yeah. beings have those gifts together, but they are human beings. So I don't know what a leader is and the, how that person can best be selected among people who may be pursuing their personal interest, but actually represent themselves to be representing a public interest. So I don't in know. Opinion, in your opinion, Mr. Mawere, do you think we can come uh, at a later stage to a consensus, a description, a universal consensus uh, description of what leadership is. Do you think we can approach that? Not we. we I'm that? saying is that you and I are the only two people who are speaking here. So, yeah, yeah not the rest. So I, I don't wish to arrive at a consensus, but what I do encourage is to have a battle of ideas. Those who believe okay. leadership okay. exists would then be on one side. Those who okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go deeper with you, sir. What's your ideal leader in leadership? What's your ideal leader in leadership? You are already you are, you are already. Uh, displaying signs of uh, also not I, what have I said about leadership? I said I don't uh, know. Uh, so if no, I don't I know, yeah. then uh, uh, if you respect my answer, then you say okay. But for the purpose of educating each other, I will take the position that leadership exists and I know who is a leader. Then we can then look at but that person. You can't say you can't say leadership exists if you don't know what leadership is, sir. No, I'm because saying that uh, uh, I don't know, but somebody may say they, they know. So I am yet to learn from somebody. Uh, who, who is that somebody? That's why who we are here somebody? in the public uh, terrain to be able to uh, talk to people who may have confronted this idea and blame somebody and say you are a leader, I look up to you, and you have disappointed me because I expect a leader to behave in this manner. So there are many people with different expectations and I don't know them. So the whole purpose of this mentorship program is to build a community around this idea called leadership. So that uh, those with different views, those with better knowledge of what a, a leader or uh, a skilled leader uh, does or doesn't do, they can also share. So I am here with Mason for, for the sole purpose of provoking, igniting, and inspiring a conversation, but in a structured manner. Those who believe that leadership does exist, they can be on the left side. Just say, yes, it does exist. Those who believe it doesn't exist or have question marks and they wish to learn what are the properties on what the properties of a leader is and the properties of no leader is. Assuming that we agree that a leader does exist in the form of a human being. Yeah. But so yes. far, I... I don't know as a person. So I don't want to speak on behalf of others who know better and whose expectations are closer to the reality. I, I love your answer. I love your answer, Mr. Mawere, because uh, uh, I don't know if you study Greek history. history. In, in Greek, there were so many philosophers and they used to meet up in what the one boy called it, philosophy. Philosophy, philosophical homes, and basically they used to debate 
at the, at the end of the conversation, they used to shake hands, these Greek philosophers, and they'd be like, I did not win this conversation. I did not win this debate. Thank you for telling me I did not know. Thank you for teaching me something I did not know. There were no winners or losers. It's all about learning. So that's what basically what life is. It's a learning curve. That's right. But, so the other danger yeah. you first uh, mentioned, the more you use the yes, word sir. philosophy, you are already creating tribalism. How is that, sir? Because there are some people who are just organic thinkers. And the moment uh, okay. critical thinking or positive thinking is limited to philosophy, then some will feel less qualified to comment. Because uh, okay. let's uh, democratize thought. Those who think a leader exists, just step forward. And somebody says, I think leadership is a construct. I believe it exists. So Moses move. And I hope, Moses, you are now a member of C2C so that we build you as the person who believes. And then we can test what your belief is based on. Is it based on gossip? Based on rumor? Superstition? Illiteracy? Deficiency of thought? Or... It's based on naivety. So, Moses, let us uh, ask the question again. Penny Mandewa Moyo MM says, all the above, you know, what, uh, what lazy thinkers say, you know, you know, Mason, they just say all oh, the above. Yeah. Mo Moses, we are here to provoke thought and ideas, not all the above. Because what I've said come, came from my own head, not yours. Please, uh, can you elucidate? Munyasho Nai says, I think leadership exists. Think. Yeah, when you finish thinking, when you tell us if it exists and what informs yeah. your conclusion. Because... Uh, Mr. Mavari, is it, is it possible to bring Moses or Munya to come forward? And, that's uh, what I'm the provoking audience. them. So that they can come forward and share. So we now have two who believe it exists. And uh, the, yeah. Mr. Mawere, I shan't take an eye. Then I shan't take an eye. So, so, Kukutaura, Mapengero, Ako, Mawere is an opportunist. Ato Ananzira, Yokuzo, Yokuzo, Ganewe, I don't know what that. MM, Mawere, I shan't take an eye. So, that's uh, somebody's. Uh, uh, a conclusion is now about Maweri, and uh, I'm not sure where I'm, su I'm supposed to work. Uh, yeah, Ed doesn't want to talk Ed about about Ed leadership. You know, there are people who come here to play the person and yeah. not to play but, the issues. It, but the thing is, Mr. Maweri, there's no point of making a reckless statement if you're not going to quantify quantify your statement. You know the word quantify, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, ex uh, expand, expand your st statement. There's no point in which uh, Mr. Maweri has said the novel, Mr. Maweri is the opportunist, whatever. Quantify your statement. What, what are you saying? What exactly are we saying? Uh, perhaps I, I went into his dreams and the certain opportunity from him that he believes the, he's got uh, locusts to talk about. Because there are many people who think they have jurisdiction to be judges. 
whatever you do, right. they they bark like dogs, and the, the person cannot show up for what is being discussed. Munya and Moses, they are commenting on the subject that is there. But there are people who come here to divert attention. Where, they, where there's two or more people, one has to lead. Now we get Munyashonai. A leader has followers who follow the leader's vision. What if uh, people are like flies? They follow the meat. How does the meat know who is following? How does somebody who is an individual with two ears? Please, Masimba, online, please for us. And uh, somebody says, Masimba, come, we want to enjoy Masimba. And uh, you can talk to him directly, but here I have Mason. So Mason, Penny says, I don't want to hear anything from you. What should be your response? Did you come here for Masimba? Uh, I did not come here for my Mokoma Masimba as much as I love and respect him. I came here on my own feet, in my own uh, data, in my own uh, time, in my own uh, conscious conscience. So I did not come for anybody. I'm here for myself. All right. And uh, Moses says it's like believing in God. Now a leader is now a new God that causes according to Moses. So I might argue, based on empirical evidence, that life is all due to evolution. However, a lot of good and bad has been done in the name of this God. I'm not sure what that is. Then he says, so whether or not there's a God, there still is a God. So I'm, I'm not sure whether he's answering on that. Mr. Mabwewe, can you ask him, Moses, uh, Moses, my brother Moses, can you ask him what does he mean empirical evidence? I think he's uh, listening. I don't know. He's introducing too many variables. Now we're talking about God in, in relation to the affairs of a human being. So I we're think... Talking uh, about governance and we are talking about governance, we are talking about leadership, but if you want to diversify the conversation to empirical evidence and God and everything, so he needs to quantify what does he mean by God and what does he mean by empirical evidence. If you can come forward and answer those questions, please. Yeah, so I think we are already in the two minutes left on this question of leadership. So would you care to sum up that... Uh, this one leaves as a provocation. All right. In my own understand, are you asking me, Mr. Mawere? Yeah. All right. In my own in my own understanding, a leader is somebody who has been put up to represent the wishes and the the, the desires of a uh, of the community. When you are put up as a leader, you are absolutely a servant of the people. That's where democracy. If you're gonna study democracy, study started from 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 uh, Egypt, and the democracy basically you are put in a position of power, representing the wishes and the desires of the people that are being led. That's what their leader is. You are actually a servant of the people. You are not leading people, but you are you are the voice and the the ears of the people. That's what a leader is. All right, uh, that's your summation. Yeah. All right, I will sum up my own view. This uh, show was provoked by an earlier conversation on mentorship. And what is it that we can learn so that we have a shared understanding that is between me and Mason who were talking outside. One of the questions that came up we, where does wisdom lie on the question of leadership? 
who is a leader and who is not. What is a leader anyway? And uh, what does leading mean? And this was part of this community building project around an idea called leadership. Is a president presumed or deemed to be a leader? Or is just one human being of flesh who is not capable of extending the number of hours in a day from 24 to 24 plus one minute or one second? Do we have the same thinking around the leader and our expectations? Because if we can't find each other on the idea of leadership, we are bound to be divided in terms of expectations. One will expect the so-called leader to know everything when actually the person knows nothing. One would expect a president to be a free person or a leader to be a free person for getting that the demands on this person in terms of time actually reduces his or her claim on freedom. That freedom is critical, but human life was created so that no one person can know that which they don't know. So life was designed to limit the individual's knowledge to what is possible and to allow things to happen without anyone controlling it. So that at the end of the day, each and every person alive makes choices and acts on the choices made. So if we cannot find each other on that, we can't make any progress. So if you're watching today or you watch later, you would be able to think and reflect and also open conversations among the people you know if you wish to be part of this community where issues, not people, are central to the broadening and deepening of what must unite us, not divide us, because ignorance is a friend of prejudice. When people don't know that which they talk about or elect, then the outcome will always be divisive because one person will claim to know better, to be a better leader without digging deeper as to what a leader is and what a leader is not. So thank you very much for being part of this conversation. Hopefully it will provoke, ignite and inspire you to be part of this community, if not be an agent to ensure that a conversation on leadership, a leader, follower, and all the things that we associate with the poor souls who then carry the identity of leadership without knowing what all these followers actually think and want to be done, but there's no meeting place that can accommodate the universe of people whose lives may be waiting for this genius to be the face of leadership, if it does exist. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mabe.